hot minute since we have done a good old fashioned DIY on this channel. Um, so I'm gonna make up for it by showing you guys three today. We're gonna be doing three Pinterest inspired fall DIYs and I'm really excited about it. I'm hoping this is not like a Pinterest fail situation and that this turns out well. First thing I'm gonna do involves this mat. Um, which I got at Target for $9.99, which I felt like was a really good deal. They also have a bigger one. Uh, if you have a bigger porch, you could get the larger size. I wanna say it's like $13 instead of 10. And this DIY is inspired by this photo that I keep seeing on my Pinterest. I'll put it here so you guys can see it. But it's this really cute doormat that says, hey there, pumpkin. I've been wanting one of these for a couple of years now, but I thought that it would be fun to try to DIY it and show you guys how you could make it for like 10 bucks, which is so cheap. But I'll also link the Etsy store that sells it down in the description um, in case you guys just would rather buy it. And I'm gonna change up the design a little bit because I don't wanna like straight up plagiarize anybody's work. So this DIY is really simple. All I did was take the mat and some black paint that I got at the craft store. And since I'm a graphic designer, I kind of did a little mock-up of the design in my Adobe Illustrator program. Um, I can leave the little template that I used down in the description so you guys can use it too. Um, it didn't turn out exactly the same way, which I didn't really plan for it too. I just wanted some general guidelines. But something that really helped me with the spacing was to start by doing the first letter and then the last letter of a word. That way it's not not really big at the beginning and then trails off and gets really tiny at the end because I always do that. <laughs> The next DIY is inspired by these pins that have these really pretty fall wreaths on old window panes. Um, and I actually found a window pane at Target in the taller spot of all places. And I got some little foam pumpkins from Michaels. So I basically just placed all of the pumpkins where I wanted them to be on the wreath. And then I went in with a hot glue gun and I glued everything on. And then I added some fall foliage. And then I actually started by just gluing this onto the frame. but. Ultimately, I decided that I wanted to be able to switch this out with a Christmas wreath, so I actually took this glue off, off camera, and just used a command strip, and it worked just as well. Okay, how cute is this? I love this so much. It feels very like Joanna Gaines to me, and I love that it's like a different way to hang a wreath because there's only so many doors. <laughs> that you can hang a wreath on, but putting it like on the window pane thing makes it like cool wall art, which I think is really fun. I think all in all this DIY cost $11.50, so not too bad. The last DIY is inspired by the Ruddle Rollers that I always see all over Pinterest. They're like $150 and I thought I could DIY it for cheaper. So basically I found this towel holder at the thrift store for $4 and this brown craft paper at the dollar store. And I took the brown craft paper and I rolled it all the way out and folded it in half just so I would have a nice midline to cut along. And then I cut down the entire thing, which took a really long time, um, just kind of rolling it up as I went so that I had two sides that were half of the width of the original paper and then I taped one of them to the little dowel in the towel holder and just started manually rolling it around um, again this took kind of a really long time it was a labor of love I rolled both of the rolls around the dowel just taping the second one to the first one and then I used these little magnetic buttons at the bottom to make sure that it stayed weighted down um, and then I just drew this little design on it and I think it turned out really really cute that turned out so much better than I thought it could have turned out. I thought that it was going to be kind of like, it's passable, but it actually looks really cute and really good. And now I'm really glad that I didn't spend $129 to basically buy the exact same thing. I am so happy with this whole DIY video situation. I feel like sometimes you do a DIY and you're like, hmm, like that didn't come out exactly the way that I wanted it to, but I feel like I would have paid money for all of these things that I just made. I mean, I did pay money for the like parts to make them, but I would have paid more money. I hope that you guys like this Pinterest inspired fall DIYs video concept. 
I love DIYing things. I think it's so fun and so special and I always like get more emotionally attached to the things that I've DIY'd and so they're more fun to put out every year, especially seasonal stuff. If you guys have any more fall video ideas that you would like me to try out, please let me know in the comments down below. I am a fall fiend. I love everything to do with autumn. So if you guys have ideas, I'd love to film whatever it is that you guys would like to see. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all in my next video.